What is my fascination with the sea? I mean, I think we're all fascinated by the sea. I don't think I can claim any particular um, you know, ownership of fascination. Uh, clearly, uh, having spent 30 years in this little fishing village, um, you see the sea not only as a, as a physical thing, but nearly as a cultural thing. And uh, the, the people here are shaped by, you know, their relationship to the sea, which is um, unforgiving and tough. You know, I mean, we, we um, all tend to experience the sea on a nice day. You know, it's a nice day, let's go to the sea. <clears throat> but if you live by the sea, you don't have a choice about nice days or bad days. Um, and if you're fishing, you can't just decide to go fishing on a nice day. And the sea here, especially, is a, is a cruel and tough thing. I mean, the beginning here is the Costa of the Muerte, you know, it's the coast of death. Conventionally, we sort of think the land finishes and the sea, sea starts. Along this coast, the, the land is under the sea and there's lots of rocks before the big shelf starts. So it's very dangerous, historically, especially without GPS. Um, so <clears throat> I can't claim any particular love, but just um, liking this place and liking the people and seeing how their relationship with a nature which they're both unromantic about and romantic about, you know, <clears throat> they are, um, if you live by something, <clears throat> it's your reality. It's not a, I think they hate and love it in the same ways because it's, it's unforgiving. But there is a deep romanticism here as well, of course, about the coast and the way of life.